All right, guys, welcome back to another Spencer TV video. Uh, season 3, episode 2, officially starting. One thing that I was noticing as I started to... Okay, first off, we need to slow down here. But, I mean, I, I find every day, I find something new on FS19, a, a little thing that Giants did, and i just just noticing it now. So, I have 68,000 liters of soybeans in my in my Hallmaster. Now, look at my real rear tires. Look at my rear tire compared to my front one it is way it is so pressed down here's here's the perfect view you can see it squatting and then pushing out obviously lots of pressure but that is awesome how giants here even better view you can see how the front tire is so inflated and the back one is just squatting down i mean the equal tire pressure but just the weight of it is intense and i need to get the fast track off this thing the fast track cannot handle this this is way too much we're gonna get we're probably gonna put the 6r with the dualies on it or we can even uh probably not the challenger i think we have another tractor i'm still familiarizing myself with the farm with the equipment okay so main goal today is we're probably gonna end up getting uh we're probably gonna end up here i need to pull around here but guys it's pretty hard to accelerate i was going up a hill i was go going like three miles an hour all right let's go ahead pull around here we're gonna unload into our silo we are doing soybeans as of the moment. We have helpers B and I think another combine just shut down. So John Deere Boy and Dan are helping out. Like I said, I want to get an official team here on the farm. But just for now, um, we have, uh, what am I trying to say? We have just people who, I think Dan is on the Fent farm and John Deere Boy. I hope he's on the, I think he is on the John Deere farm. Ooh, that look, Dude, I love the JCB fast track. I think I'm going to mow with it. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. And then we'll hook up. Either the six, oh, yeah, I'm gonna mow with the fast track. I wonder how fast it goes too. Okay, this actually takes a really long time to unload. But what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is, what should we take? We have the six R quad track, quad track, no, too big, or the new Holland. I think we'll take the six R. We got John Deere boy here. He might want to drive the six R, but he's gonna be in the Crone as of now. He will be mowing our, I guess, our front yard, more like front pasture. Again, we are going to be doing cows, and let's always, I just always go back here. I even forget sometimes, let's go do cows, exactly what do they need. Grass, hay, silage, and TMR. TMR is total mixed rations, and it will maximize there, which I kind of forget. Oh yeah, I think you put it in the one machine that mixes it all up. Again, guys, haven't dug cows don't worry, I will figure it out. A four driver mixes blend silage hay. Okay, so we need this guy. And I think it picks up all of it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. No worries. We have lots lots more to do. We're going to be harvesting all of our crops. And then I'm almost waiting to plant. Um, to replant, I guess you could say. Just as we get... Cows are our top priority. Mowing silage is going to be huge here in the future as well. So I don't know if I'm actually going to purchase cows today i might purchase a livestock trailer today but i don't know if i'll actually get the animals themselves we don't even have a water tank we don't even have we don't even have grass hay silage any of that so i might get the trailer in a water tank that that might be the most for livestock today besides obviously mowing and prepping i guess you can say that so uh dan if you want to take the 6r and i think uh i think one of the combines is ready to go. I believe helper B. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so Dan is helping out today. He's on the mic. John Deere boy's mic isn't working. So if you are if you hear anybody, his mic is a little quiet. I tried to bump it up, but that will be Dan talking. First time ever meeting Dan, too. See, guys, we meet new people, viewers, friends that, uh, that jump on. That's the funnest thing about this is you guys watching can play with me like it is free join the discord i need to be i'm gonna make another community post about it just turn on the bell that's the best thing that you can possibly do and uh you can get information if you turn on the bell i'll have a community post describing more details now that i'm actually on here and i'm sure i'm gonna get a lot of comments today saying how do i join da -da 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 -da, all that stuff i'm gonna be a little better on that on explaining it and i'll try and put more in the description so check out description Subscribe, turn on bells, because when I make a community post, you'll get in uh, more alerts of that if you have your post notifications on. So that is the move. Let's go ahead. Never mode with the fast track. 
But uh, this is going to be very exciting. Dan, which one was full? Oh, uh, it... B and then I believe F is getting full. Perfect. Okay, so we have the new Holland. And we have our other combine up there that is that Dan is unloading in. How do you like the 6R? I put Dooley's on her. I don't think she's that. It's all right. Um, yeah. It has a little bit of a hard time pulling the Hall Master, though. It does still? Okay. I knew, the fast track did... I, it was decent when it was empty, but once <laughs> once it got 60,000 liters in there of soybeans, it got a little yeah. rough, so... I'm going to go uh, get Helper F now. Perfect. If it's... Once it's filling up... Uh, you, you can switch it for sure. You can either jump in, uh, I guess the, I don't know if the new Holland would be much better. I think it has more, more horsepower. I did upgrade the engine a lot. It has duels on front and back, but take the Challenger quad track, I guess, if you want to, if it's. All right. It might just be the hills, but. True. True. Uh, I'll make it work. Yeah, no, the, the hills, I, the hills are pretty, pretty rough. I, there we go. Go ahead. Switch. So I'm going to be helping out with John Deere boy, which he, here's the whole front lawn. If I could section it off, we're going to be mowing all this, turning it into, Hey, I do need a wind row. I need a tether, tetherer. I think that's how you pronounce it. All right. So we just had a little synchronized in there and just somebody was jumping on. Let's go ahead and start up the front and rear mower. What I can do is put all three in the front. Like you saw me transfer, transport it over here, but I, I don't like that. I kind of like to distribute you know distribute the weight evenly i feel like it probably makes a better cut and everything okay do i have both mowers on yeah if you just take laps take laps around it john dear boy um okay i need to turn on my front mower yeah no it looks really good okay. looks really good just keep going ahead mowing there no worries okay, is my front one on maybe no uh okay i think i'm good there we go. So the Crone's a little bigger than mine once I have all these three mowers on, but you know, it is pretty expensive. I think it's quite a bit faster, but the fast track, the fast track is pretty quick. I knew this would be fast. Oh my goodness. I love the fast track. Literally yesterday's thumbnail and title was the fast track is the best because it is. I think it's the best. It's pretty fun to use and um, it just, I like it. I like it. I should have, what I should have done. I guess I shouldn't have because the fast track can't really handle it, but I should have made the Hallmaster yellow. I was deciding on what to do there, but we're going to do a quick time lapse here, guys. I'm mowing. I know it gets pretty tedious, uh, and it's pretty fun to watch time lapse when we're both mowing together. So, hope you all do enjoy, and I'll see you when we're done with the front yard here. Okay, so we added another member, I guess not member, but another helper, and Steve is going to go ahead and grab the vent, the vent, and head down to, oh, I better shut these off, head down to go grab a tenor, tetherer that I just purchased. I was out of trouble pronouncing these words. Uh, let's go ahead, lift these up, fold them up. I think I'm going to put this more away. Uh, John Deere boy, if you find anywhere else that you, I th no, I think we're probably good right now. Go ahead. Uh, I think the crone goes... The crone goes in the open shed that has no walls, kind of by the by the uh, cow pasture. So what I'm going to do, or just follow me because I'm heading over there. I'm going to go ahead, take this mower over here, uh, detach it. Yeah, I think we're good on grass as of this moment. So Dan, me and Dan were talking when I was doing time lapse, and he had a pretty good idea where we could use. I mean, I'm just not familiar. I mean, I am, but I'm, 
I just need to get in the swing of things in terms of cattle. I totally forgot that you can have chafe and uh, he, Dan says he's on the Fent team and he said that we could contract him out because uh, he has a forge harvester and we have a bit, not a lot, but enough for starting out as of this moment. We have a bit of corn on the front part of our farm. So what we could do, use the forge harvester and uh, and then go ahead and make some and then tender or er, forge it up. And then that can also be used for obviously we would have to pack down in the bunker and stuff, but we can use that for uh, for the cattle. And that's probably actually what we're going to end up doing, which I might purchase one, but I'm not sure yet. I, I might want to contract it out as of this moment. So lots going on here at the farm. Just got done mowing. He's going to bring down. We're going to start making hay. Super important. What I need to do is I also need to get a windrow and a loading loading wagon as well. A windrower. Where is that? Let's go over here. Windrows. That is humongous. That how big is this? Oh, it's only nine meters. This is fourteen point eight. I will probably pick this nine point three meters up. Mm, we'll get it fourteen. It's actually really important to get the large wind row because it's just easier when we use the loading wagon. Let's go ahead. Let's go to loading wagons. I will get the oh, this one's pretty expensive, but we're going to we're going to pick her up just because we're going to be using this lot. We'll throw extensions on it. Michelin tires. Go ahead, purchase it. Now, I am going to reset money once I kind of get bare things down. Uh, and then we're going to start building and actually using good money. So, John Deere Boy, if you want to jump in the JCB and either grab the windrow or the uh, the loading wagon, that is good for me. What I'm going to actually do right now, too, I'll just head down with you guys. But I've been meaning to purchase a Silver Star Wilson trailer. Again, we are purchasing a lot of things right now. Uh, and like I said, I will fix fix the money and I want to make it a little more um, real and I don't want to say competitive but just kind of logging everything more realistic in the sense of that that we don't can't just buy everything right away but we are kind of but I will expand the farm don't worry I'll buy more land and, and we'll have operations going a little bigger but it's kind of tough I was just talking to Dan I was like you know what I've been thinking about like reducing everybody's money down to like 200 300,000 and then everybody kind of starting on the same page and kind of competing, you could say. But the problem with that is anybody can kind of join. This is a server. This isn't very competitive server because anybody can join. And there's different skill levels and not everybody's on the same page. You know, somebody could jump on and just buy a bunch of stuff, kind of spend all the money. So it's tough in that aspect. But on my farm, I, th I have a password on it and stuff. So we can kind of kind of do that so it's not too too much of a worry but it's it would be kind of hard for other farms so we're gonna go ahead and head down here follow john to your boy the jcb's throwing him around we're gonna go ahead and make the pass he's too slow for me there we go we'll turn off the blinkers that's funny come back over oh he's laying on the horn he's laying on the horn all right slow her down put on your blinkers here so the quickest way everybody thinks or at least i thought this too at the beginning i was like you know what the fastest way is a right, but that is false. Actually, take a left here. Head down the... Oh, okay. I think uh, I think Tanner here has been watching my videos. He knew the, the, the way. So he has the tetterer. Tanner, go ahead and get started on that. I think somebody else... Oh, yeah. What farm is this? Uh, let's look real quick. Uh, that's the Fent farm, and the Fent is doing cattle. Is that right, Dan? I think he... Yeah, he's on... Okay. What else are you guys, what else is kind of happening on the fat farm? I haven't really talked to any individual, you know, farmers. Uh, we're dabbling with pigs, too. Um, not too much. I try not to do any of the harvesting because I know a lot of the other kids like to do it. Mm -hmm. But I'll just try and manage it as best I can. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so uh, you and pigs are going to do... Yeah, I mean, there's so many people on this that if everybody's... And it seems nothing crazy has happened as far as I know. Again, this is only episode two. And this server's been up for a solid month. And a lot of things could have happened. I haven't really talked to the staff members. But, like, I just got an email where a five-year-old um, was on here. And the parent emailed me saying that they got banned because they weren't leaving. Obviously, very, very young viewer. Actually, like, one of the youngest viewers I've ever even heard of. Which is awesome. Uh, but he must have got on here. And then he... 
obviously not the best at the game you know he's five years old young doesn't know how everything works and then somebody accidentally banned him not knowing that of course he was five years old so stuff like that is going to happen where somebody gets on with different skill sets and that's again why um you got to tiptoe there's a lot to manage on the farm so if you guys do want to join again be on the lookout subscribe post notifications all that stuff and i kind of want to give back with this server for all you guys that watch and want to play this is kind of why i made it so very fun too much talking let's go ahead head over here we're gonna pick up the wilson trailer and then john your boy i guess yeah grab either wait where's he at he's farmer steve i'm not uh farmer steve's in the new holland yeah actually a lot of times we're gonna have to have people like in the combines to clean up the edges and a lot of other stuff like that what is John your boy was either lagging or he's just a bad driver because i think he's like a mile away and i think he went into the ditch or something so i'm sure he was lagging it looks like he was when he was driving earlier so the kenworth w900 is our only semi i think we might purchase one more down the road because you know a lot of operations you know like when we're selling but for now the only thing we got is the w900 i'm gonna go ahead head down back to the farm i'll have to figure out a good spot to keep this hopefully you all are enjoying and i'll see you when we get back all right guys so we're just getting back right now so th this was the corn that i was talking about that we can uh, turn into chafe and then obviously um get her for the cows once it's once it's ready but it looks like we're tethering things are going good it's so nice having the ability to just have anybody jump on and help out and it, it seems like everybody's doing really good too uh again sometimes people have different skill levels and it does get frustrating when somebody doesn't know how to do it properly but always try and help them out and and be nice in that aspect because you know if you just got the game it, it is i totally understand like my first time playing it i was like what is going on i'm not a farmer but i have interest in this and I just really didn't know what was going on and I felt bad because I was like just messing everything up but again if you're ever playing with somebody who like doesn't have the same skill level as I know a lot of people watching won't be on the server but it's just kind of a code of conduct I guess always be nice all right so what we're gonna do right now this is where I'm pretty much storing anything that's too big to be anywhere else just on the side of our <laughs> cliffs you can say let's go ahead and unload drop her down and i think uh okay i think i'll just keep this here if anybody else wants to drive down and pick up the loading wagon we'll be needing that i guess what did john your boy even bring back okay yeah he brought brought back the windrow um perfect looks like dan is working in the 6r we'll go check in on him he's in the ideal perfect getting soybeans going we don't need straw for cows so we don't need to enable straw uh so we got grass we also have hay silage um go ahead tether it all i guess tanner's the one tethering i don't think he's in the voice chat right now but what we're gonna end up doing tether this all and then get her in the loading wagon and then and then uh, we can we can mow other spots for grass, so it's not too big a deal. Cause it's so easy to make grass. It took us like five seconds, especially with the crone. It's nice. Yeah, go ahead, tether all. Thank you so much, John, dear boy. Cause yeah, it's pretty much done anyway. So then John, dear boy is gonna head up with the wind row, and then I might as well. I think I'll just go grab the loading wagon, and by the time I get back, he should be done, close to be done wind rowing. So what would be the best vehicle for that? I think I'll I'll go grab the new haul and we'll we'll head down there. So I will see you guys when we get back. Okay, so we're just on our way back, just a little bit more till we we're back to the farm. Off in the distance, you can see the ideal combine going. I believe that's Dan in it. And then he's got the six R kind of waiting to unload. So a lot of it is, a lot of it's not perfect land. I've said this over and over. It does make it a little tough. What I want to do is is kind of plow up a few spots where there's just a you see over there. There's just a random grass circle kind of in there i would like to clean that up clean up the edges straighten out any like inlets or as you can tell um like this stuff maybe clean that out and then actually plow it and then we can plant um it perfectly so we don't have to worry about that much and straighten out the edges so when you hire the worker it doesn't like go crazy or anything you know just something like that little grass patch right there like it doesn't really need to be there so stuff like that i'm not really sure what this is supposed to be i think it's like the little again not a huge farmer but these little maybe test strips or 
you know, like sweet corn that you plant in front of the house, and then you actually have like seed corn in the back that you take to the um, the elevator. But I just don't really know. So let's go ahead and take it right here. I got the new Holland flashers, hazards on everything. We got a big load, duels. I don't know. It's just kind of my rule. Whenever I got duels, I got to throw on the hazards. We're pretty wide. Can't even really fit in the road. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to pick up the hay with this, put it in the hayloft for now. And then what I want to do is get a baler. Um, uh, yeah, a baler that wraps the, the grass bales into silage. That's what I want to do. So I so I kind of have some silage. I'm going to have a silage bunker too, but that does take a decently long time to kind of set up. So we are buying a lot of things, but it's more so implements that we need to to do cows, which is super important. So there we go. John Boy is in the wind realm in the JCB. Working her. There we go. Swath or wide. Um... What does he mean by swath or wide when he asked when Tanner asked that? Spread it all in a straight line together. Uh, straw out of it. No, we just want to. We're gonna use the grass to turn it into um, silage. We'll use a bale. So, wide is probably fine. Yeah, we'll just do wide, just like we did over here. And that should be good. So what I need to do is we will de uh actually let's let's look real quick. So let's go to let's go to Baylor's There we go, bailing technology. And then we're gonna end up getting a bale wrapper, uh, packs grass bales in foil so they can ferment into silage. So we will do that. We'll have to get one of these, and then along with turns loose straw, grass for hand, convenient bales. Perfect. Okay, so now we just need to get a baler. Which which one do you think we should get? I want to make probably I want to do round bales. Um, we can get the new Holland roll belt. This one's pretty expensive, really expensive. Um. Oh, this one makes it wraps the bale right away. Actually, we, this one does it all in one. Does, um, Dan, does the Coon, if you go to Baylor's, the Coon FBP3135, does that make, uh, round bales as well? Or is it just square? Uh, the Coon. If you look in the... Yeah, because I would like to just that have... It's just round, and if it's grass, it'll wrap it afterwards. Otherwise, it'll just drop off the round bale. Okay. And I'm pretty much always going to do it with grass, so... Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that. Foil color. Ooh, we can change the foil color to like pink, kind of gray bluish. Ooh, that's cool. Black. Let's do let's do pink. Ah, but that's not gonna look good. Not too realistic. What color should we get? I mean, what do you guys think? I don't want to do white. Black, pink, or like green. Um, it's tough. That's tough. Let's do, uh, let's do black. Let's do black. I feel like it's going to look pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and detach from here. I'm going to, a lot of driving on my part. Um, you know what, what I'm going to do? I'm actually not going to drive down there. If anybody else doesn't have anything to do, if they want to drive down and grab that, um, I guess I think John Deere boy will be done here wind rowing. So John Deere boy, if you want to, when you get done wind rowing, if you want to go ahead, head down and get that baler, that would be awesome. I just, I'm kind of tired of, that would be like my third or fourth trip, kind of tired of that. So let's go ahead, we'll get our hay here. And again, this will go in the hayloft just for now. Obviously, we can go and pick it up whenever we want, once we get the cows in. I need a water tank, a few other things, you know, kind of little things like that for the cows as well. But let me know what you guys think of the series so far. Again, episode two, or no, this is, this is episode, this is episode, ah, Okay, this is episode two. This is episode two because I don't think I counted episode one as when we officially made the farm. So I don't think I can do that. All right. So what we're doing here, picking this up. If I could drive straight. Did I miss any? Probably. Maybe. All right. We'll go ahead. Loop around here. There's always a little bit that we miss, but I feel like the lawn is going to look really good. I always want to make... Um, 
I always want to mow the front lawn because like whenever we drive in it just looks so good our house is tucked in the back of it I think it looks pretty good so there we go guys we'll go ahead and loop around here we have almost every single big oh my goodness every single big name brand you can kind of think of we got New Holland we have Fent, John Deere, Case, Challenger, Fast Track um, we don't have a Massey just yet that'll probably be one of my or no we do I think our little one over there is the Massey our little utility tractor which is going to be very important we're going to be using a lot we have a stump grinder on there which I have some trees in mind that I want to take out here eventually but I'm really enjoying the farm on the weekends we'll probably do more streams on it and stuff so be on the lookout for more information on that community post coming out as well and for those of you who are watching late into the video make sure to check out the merch link it is it will be in the description below if you guys a lot of people have been asking for merch and it's officially here so make sure to go check it out super important if you guys don't know already there we are we'll keep i think i'll do a full lap here um fill up and then we'll wrap up today's episode about half full if i can drive straight this would help there we go there we are it picks up pretty quick the wind row that's i believe that's one of the biggest ones so it's nice because you know it makes a big old big old line here and we can pick it up pretty nice besides and yeah the new holland is wide enough where we don't smash it too bad there we go we gotta make it it's pretty hard to follow if the person who windrows goes a little crazy which it's kind of the person who mows if they go crazy it's hard to wind row and just down the line but you gotta drive pretty good to catch it all sometimes there we go keep driving here 50,000 almost uh, yeah this holds 59,000 I believe I think I'm correct and then yes there's the corn there I think we I think Ruger we do have Ruger somebody was wondering if we had a dog on the farm I actually can't remember I think we do by our garage yes we do Ruger's back there we go so it holds 56,500 liters did anyone get the baler or no uh no I did not I don't think anybody else did I'll go down yeah, it, it's it's no worries because um, we need to get done mowing too, I guess. So, in no rush. So, thank you all so much for watching today's episode. I'm going to go unload this hay. Always, well, always on the farm. Something that I always want to do. Oh, I don't even have a hay loft. I need to place that down. I don't have too much room for that. One thing I always want to do is do the, the two honks. That's always just like a thing I try and remember. So, hopefully you all do enjoy today's episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to join, information's below. Hit the like button, all that good stuff. We appreciate it. And the farm's going really good. I like it. I like the farm. Look at that picture. You see Farmer Steve and Dan, and then the sun right on the horizon. That looks pretty good. We're wrapping up here today. Dan, Steve, Farmer Boy, who else? John Deere Boy, Tanner. Thank you all guys for helping out on the farm. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.